scared. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> Okay, this is the place where people that use all possibilities to the heat or to the cold. They came from the changing room, changed clothes, and the sauna was over there, not to come in one shot from a cold area to a hot area. They knew in those days they not healthy to do it in one shot, so they stayed here for a while, enjoyed the time, and then they went to the sauna. When they finished with the sauna, then going out to the cold in one shot, they stayed over here and enjoyed it. Here you can see around beautiful covers, and the tiles were similar to the other room, again without window. At the far end is a wood assistant that was getting water from the roof. And to cool off their body from the hot sauna, they used the system over there. All the food outside should be passed at the beginning. Take a look how thick the wall of this room is. It was meant to keep the heat indoors. This is the sound. They didn't have isolation devices the way we have today. So they had to build a it's very cool thick wall here, right? to keep the heat indoors. Find your head, sir. Actually, you say. This would not be original. No. Now this is the sound room. You see the floor is this is the original floor. The floor was standing on little columns. You see all those little columns? They were holding the floor. So it was hollow underneath. All around the wall there were pipes like this that spread the heat which was exercised outside. You see the oven was outside. This is the fireplace. And the slave was standing there with two leather sacks on his legs, trotting like this, blowing the air across the fire, warming up the whole room. Again, all the walls were nicely painted. The floor was having beautiful tile. Nobody could enjoy it because it was dark and there were only oil lamps and illumination. Over there was a cold water sink. Over here, a hot water sink about the fireplace. So you could choose whether you want hot water on your body, cold water on your body. If it's too hot or too cold, you were able to regulate it. But the source of hot water is burning wood. Burning, is that right? And there's no wood in the air, they have to bring the wood on camels just to have enough wood to run this way. As well as water. Water was scarce, they didn't use too much water. And take a look what they did. Usually, if the roof is flat, when you use water to have a wet sauna, it started to condense to drops and drips on your hot body, which nobody likes. By building an arch, they served the part of the water, the water was recycling on one hand, on the other hand it avoided the dripping on the hot body. Okay, and all this seven days away from Jerusalem, just to attract people to come and visit him over here. Seven what? Seven, seven days, days riding on a horse from no. Jerusalem. Huh. They didn't have trains or vehicles. Enjoy, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Very much. <laughs> okay. That's a fireplace. Fireplace. This is the fireplace. Take a look how little room the slave had to distance himself from the fire. So who cared about the safety of slaves? One was burned, they brought another one to do the job. <laughs> Looking to the other side, you see at this storeroom, you see round holes in the middle. This was probably housing liquids, oil, wine, or vinegar. Every drop counts. We are far away from Jerusalem, so whenever a jar was having a crack, they didn't throw it away. They just put it into the hole and put it into a new jar. That's how they saved the materials they stored on top of Masada. Please. 